All right, we're here with Fox. It's quick. Start with James. Yo, what's up, Darren? What up, man? Hey, uh, just how good does that feel? I mean, you guys have been through it over the last couple of weeks, and and to watch you really shake it off and put the team on your back there in the early fourth to get you back in it. I mean, you you had to have a little extra oomph in it. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, it feels good to get a win. Um, but it's just one game, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's it's a decent feeling, but I mean, we just lost nine in a row, so it's not the end all be all, I guess. Matt George, Darren, with the inconsistency issues that your team has had throughout this season, what from tonight do you want to see sustained in Sunday's game and sustained more consistently um, throughout the remainder of the season? Uh, just the effort, especially the, like the effort that we began the game with, um, just being able to get out and running. You know, we were we were making the missed shots and weren't um, they weren't teeing us up just for for walk up threes or anything like that. So, uh, just the defensive effort that we that we came out and gave tonight. Jason Jones. Hey, Darren, you kind of just mentioned that you like you know it feels good to win, but you did just lose nine straight. It's part of your mentality right now, just knowing that you guys have had a stretch where you lost nine out of eleven, then won seven of eight, then lost nine in a row. Just the idea that how long can you sustain the good energy and effort over a longer stretch than maybe two or three weeks? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's one of the like I said before. That's one of the hardest things in this league is to uh, be consistent as a player and as a team. Um, but it's something that we, you know, we know we can have a stretch of, of those good games. Um, but it's for us to continue to do that, continue to try to do that uh, for a long period of time. But uh, you just try to take it one game at a time. Jason Anderson. <clears throat> hey, De'Aaron, uh, how did you feel about the response from the group um, after the conversation last night about, you know, IQ and, and awareness and execution? Uh, I mean, we came out. Um, I mean, I think we set a we set the tone uh, in the first quarter. That was one thing. We came out. We we tried to push them off their spots. Uh, just tried to disrupt whatever they were doing um, offensively. And I think we did a good job at that. Obviously, you know, coming through throughout a game, you know, you're gonna have times where it just doesn't happen. But uh, and then in the fourth quarter, uh, especially when they, when they, when we got to it, uh, besides that one back door at the end of the game, I think we did a pretty good job at it. Sean Cunningham. Hey Fox, I know that uh, you know that buddy put back was was waved off, but even after seeing uh, his stick back the other night or last night, really, um, does he do that a lot in in, in practice? Has he kind of obviously he's a good rebounder, but has he gotten you guys in practice like that? Uh, he actually hasn't gotten us in practice, but um, I think he has a, he has a good feel for you know where the ball is going and uh, when are good times for him to do that. And I mean, I think he's he's pretty successful at it. He got a few last year too, so. Uh, he, he's, he's good at coming from the perimeter when we need him to. All right, just a couple more, James Hand. Yeah, Darren, the way that this season's gone and the way that you're stepping forward and becoming the leader and, and taking more responsibility for this team, are you learning a lot just about trying to stay even kill and, and the roller coaster ride that, that happens in an NBA season? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's something that you pretty much learn, you know, um, quickly when you're in this league uh, with the many games that you play. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I, I continue to learn every day um, about, you know, how, how we're getting better, uh, th what, what to look at at this time, what to look at at that time. It's, uh, it's always going to be a learning process. I think, you know, guys will tell you every, every day being in this league, you're going to, you're going to learn something new, you know, regardless, I mean, regardless of what it is, sometimes it could be like the smallest, the minor detail that you learn, but you just try to learn something every day playing this game. Sean Cunningham. Yeah, it also looked like you—you know—your hand was kind of giving you some problems most of the game. Is there uh, just what was kind of going on there? Oh man, my middle finger is really big. <laughs> um, but nah, I mean, I uh, just got hit. I think at the time, and that's when I was holding my hand, just a different part of my hand. But uh, it is what it is. Things things happen. Jason Anderson. Uh, De'Aaron, uh, somebody asked earlier, uh, asked Marvin about it, um, your chemistry together and whether maybe that's kind of taking a, a step forward. Do you do you feel something happening there? Uh, I mean, we're continuing. We, you learn something about, you know, someone every day and we're continuing to uh, learn each other's games and where um, and where we want the ball and things like that. Um, 
and just continuing to add, you know, to what we had already. Um, you know, we let we let each other know if something's not there. Um, you know what what a counter to it'll be, and uh, we'll continue to grow together and continue to get better together. All right, last one, Matt George. De'Aaron, Dennis Smith Jr., part of your draft class, he's had kind of an unconventional, difficult road in the NBA so far, I believe, even at one point asking to go down to the G League to get some reps and uh, and work on his game. Uh, can you speak to how he played tonight, just his NBA journey so far? And then is there any kind of desire or support uh, you show your fellow draft uh, classmates and that they show you? Uh, I mean, one of the guys like Dennis uh, is a guy that I've known for a uh, long time, uh, even going back to high school. So, I mean, I'm happy with him. You know, once when he got traded, um, when he left New York, you know, I told him, um, you know, just seize the opportunity, man. You're, you're coming here and, you know, you can definitely do something special because I know the type of player that he is um, and just remain confident in yourself. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm very happy with, you know, the way, obviously, you know, it was against us, but uh, he played well tonight. And that's just something that I want him to continue to do and, and carry on into every game. Um, I mean, he's we all know how athletic he is, but I feel like, you know, he's he's uber talented, man. He's he's someone that can do a lot of things on the court and um, him just being able to prove himself in this league. <clears throat> is just something that I want him to be able to do. And uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm just happy for him and just just told him to seize the opportunity. All right. Thank you, Fox. Safe to your call. All right, everyone. Just talk tomorrow.